Rahul, Rakshita, and Gurmeet. Let me say that these are the three individuals because R and R, I'm taking this as A, B, and C as the uh, efficiencies that you can call it, or uh, you know the number of units, whatever we wish to call this. We are going to represent for Rahul as A, Rakshita as B, and Gurmeet as C. Working together, they would have taken more than seven days to finish the job. Now, if A takes if Rahul takes A days to finish the job, in one day, Rahul is going to do 1 by A units of work. Rakshita is going to do 1 by B units of work. And Gurmeet is going to do 1 by C units of work. Right? And they are taking more than 7 days. That means they should do less than 1 by 7 work in a day. Because if they do 1 by 7 in a day, then they will finish the work in 7 days. They are taking more than 7 days. So they put together should do less than one by seven units every day together. If I take one as the total unit of work. Okay. This is the first equation. On the other hand, Rahul and Gurmeet that you are talking about. So Rahul is over here. Gurmeet is over here. Working together would have taken less than 15 days to finish the job. Now they are taking less than 15 days, Rahul and Gurmeet. So you are saying one by A plus one by See, if they have to finish the job in 15 days, they should have done one fifteenth together in a day, but they're taking less than one, less than 15 days. So they should have worked more than one by 15 of the work in a day together. This is another equation that we have. However, they all work together for six days. So if they're working together for six days, that means they're doing less than six by seven units. Now, less than six by seven units is what they're talking about. Maximum they can work is six by seven. It should be slightly less than six by seven. We are good. Followed by Rakshita. Rakshita is B, who worked alone for three more days to finish the job. Rakshita is working for three more days. In one day, Rakshita's work is one by B units. So in three days, it is going to be three by B units, right? Now, if you take this as six by seven, and this is three by B, if I take this as maximum, then this is turning out to be the minimum value. If I'm taking this as six by seven and the total work is getting over, that means one unit is getting over. So three by B is turning out to be one by seven. If this is the maximum possible value, which is six by seven, they cannot do more than six by seven. They also cannot do six by seven. They're doing slightly less than six by seven. So even if I take this as the maximum value, three by B minimum value will be three by B minimum value will be one by seven. That means it should be greater than one by seven. That means if you look at this particular equation, the value of B is going to be 21. You want three by B to be more than one by seven. You want three by B to be more than one by seven. That means the value of B must be less than 21, less than 21. So what is the question talking about? If Rakshita had worked alone on the job, then the number of days she would have taken to finish the job cannot be. It cannot be 21. If it is 21, then what is happening? This is 6 by 7, right? Which is not possible, which is something that they've told you very clearly over here, that this cannot be 6 by 7. So it should be less than 21 is then going to give you the answer for this question. Now, you might want to ask me, why is this given to you? This is something given to you that if you use this, you are going to get a range of value for B that it should lie between this and this. But over here itself, we are able to close the answer where we are saying less than 21. So 21 is definitely not possible. Option B 21 is the answer for this question.